Hi my friends, we continue where we left off. We examined the map function in the previous video and in this video we will examine the filter function which is similar to the map function. Let's start with the definition of filter first. Python's filter is a built-in function that allows you to process an iterable and extract those items that satisfy a given condition. This filter function takes a function as a parameter and the iterable data from us, just like the map function. However, the difference here is that the function we pass as a parameter to the filter must return a true or false value, that is a boolean value. For example, we write a condition and uh, we give an array to this filter. It sends the items in that array one by one to the function and if the value returns true, it throws that item into a new list. Let's try to understand through an example without wasting any more time. I am making a list, this example list, and uh, I will write some numbers in it. Okay, we have created the list. I will filter this list according to certain conditions. Let's first learn to filter even numbers. I will need to create a function that returns true or false. Now I'll declare one more variable, let's say even numbers. This variable will keep the even numbers that we filtered from example list. So to do that, I will write a filter. We are going to use the filter. As I said, the filter function takes function as first parameter like map function. So I will write an anonymous function. I will use lambda. Then I will write x as parameter. The letter x here will in turn represent the elements in this list. If I divide the x by 2 and if the value equal to 0 it means the number is even. In other words this will return true or false which filter function expects. So I continue in the second parameter I need to pass the list example list okay and uh, I also need to convert it to, to a list or a tuple, you know, we have all, already learned them. So let's print even numbers. Let's run it. Look, as you can see, we got the result we expected. Now let's filter the two digit numbers. I will declare a new variable, let's say double digits. The, I'm going to use filter again and of course an anonymous function. There may be different approaches to check if a number has two digits. The first thing that came to my mind was to convert it to a string and look at its length. So first I will convert it to string and then I will get the length. If the length is equal to 2 it means it has two digits. If this returns true, then we will throw that number into new list. And uh, we need to pass the list here. I will print the double digits variable. I run it. Okay. We only filtered two digit numbers. I think you understand what filter does. In this video, I also want to talk about the zip function. Zip function returns a zip object, which is an iterator of tuples, where the first item in each past iterator is paired together. And then the second item in each past iterator are paired together, etc. I don't think the definition will mean much without an example. So let's examine it together now. I will clean the editor 
and then I will create a new list let's say example list 1 then I will write 1, 2, 3, 4 then I'm going to create a second list I will put letters let me try to explain to you before using the zip function we will give these two lists to the zip function and then the zip function will take the first element in the first index of this list and the first element in the second list and they put them in a tuple and the zip function will do the same for others it will actually do a matching process here so let's use the zip function to see what happens we just need to write zip as in the others the zip function doesn't take a function as a parameter we can send the list directly to the zip function so let's write example list 1 example list 2 I will assign it to a variable and then I'm going to print it but before that I need to convert it I run it look at the terminal it matched the item in the first index with the item in the first index the second with the second and then so on by the way you can give as many array tuples as you want to the zip function it will match them all and add them to to the tuple for example let's give the roman numerals so i will write it quickly so i have one more list here so i'm going to pass the example list 3 now I will print it again look at the terminal it matched all three lists and they added them in a tuple I will end the video here I hope you liked it thanks for watching see you in the next video